back again with another video. And today I'm going to be giving you guys my review of Pixel Push Football. Now, what is this game, first and foremost? Um, basically, if you can harken back to elementary school or middle school, if you guys have ever played paper football, not just folded them, the little triangles out of paper, but also played the actual game, it's where you play, you put, you have a tabletop, maybe a desk or some sort of flat surface. You fold up that paper football and it just looks like a triangle and you set it on the table and you flick it and you have to say this is the edge of the table. You have to flick it so that the, the football kind of lands right over the edge. It's just sitting right perched on the edge, like precariously perched right there. And that's how you scored a touchdown and first to three would win. Now this is the mobile equivalent of that nostalgic game. At least it's nostalgic for me, um, paper football was. Now this is the virtual equivalent of it, like I was saying. Now you use the same mechanics, except now you just use one finger and you use it to flick the football and try to get a touchdown. There's also a uh, one and two point conversions as well um, afterwards. So you could kick a field goal for one point or um, you can try to flick it from half the field or table um, to get it on the edge of the table and get your two points. So there is a little bit of risk and reward there, just like in real life football where one or two point conversions uh, happen, this is the same, except in paper football form. There's also challenges uh, for you to do. Um, there's like modes where there will be moving defenders and you have to flick the football to your receiver and hit him. Um, there's uh, practice modes, there's timed modes, um, just a lot of small little fun game modes for you to try out. Now, what's really cool about this game um, is that it is portrait style, as you can see before you, but there is a, you can play two player on the same device. Now you can play against each other or you can play against the computer as well. And I thought that was super cool of the developer to include within the game because that's actually how I found myself playing it the most is whenever I'm hanging out with, for instance, I played it with my girlfriend, I played it with one of the boys that I work with at work, um, and it's just really fun. Um, you, you basically just put it there and you treat the, the phone or the iPad, it works very well on an iPad by the way, uh, as your table at, and you just play virtually. It's really cool. Now there's a lot of different um, style choices that you can make. You can choose different tables. You can choose uh, different types of paper footballs. Um, you can choose uh, different colors as well um, for each uh, side of the field and stuff of that nature, which is really cool. Definitely an, uh, didn't have to be in there, but it's a nice addition and it provides you a little bit of variety and choice for the player. Now, uh, all in all, I think this is a fantastic game for $2. Definitely worth it, especially if you're looking for something while you're on quarantine or social distancing with coronavirus going around. Uh, this is definitely a cool game for you to get and play with whoever you're quarantining with. Um, it's a great option. Um, I do want to touch on the graphics and the music of this game. Absolutely phenomenal. Very nostalgic, very retro feel to the music as well as the visuals. It looks like an arcade cabinet. I love the little effect uh, when you first load up the game. It, it even has like the CRTV screen uh, effect to it where the screen isn't just flat, it's like um, convex. And I really like that. Um, this game is very stylish. Uh, it deserves a lot of support. The developer seems to be pretty active on the iOS gaming Reddit as well. So just go look for his post if you have any questions on that. But uh, definitely worth the $1.99 price tag without a shadow of a doubt. Super fun, super simple game that takes a little bit of skill and you constantly feel like you're learning and getting better at it. But thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and pop a sub if you guys are new or you enjoy mobile gaming content because that's all I make on this YouTube channel. Thank you for spending your precious time watching this video yet again and take it easy.